What's up guys, welcome to Wasted Space, and um, we're back in Space Engineers with another little project, little video. Uh, for those of you that saw my previous video doing the walkabout of my survival world, I mentioned that I was sort of working on this area in the centre here for a construction platform essentially, a place, place where people could come in and work to build whatever next ship there is that they're working on. And as part of that and kind of something to make use of the new system using the cameras and remote control, I decided that I would, alongside building sort of an easy access cargo station and places to recharge, build a little mini welder using the remote thing to make it as small as it possibly could be so that it could be used to get in amongst all those tiny areas where uh, normally the welding ship, my previous welding ship, which is floating around somewhere, uh, couldn't fit. So. Briefly, the construction of this. Um, in the centre, the idea, as I said, was to make this as small as could possibly be done while still giving it the full range of movement and to be able to sort of dock it very much like it is. So down the centre there, very simply, there is the sort of basis of what we're going to need to make this all function. We have a welder at the front connected to a medium cargo container connected to a connector. Uh, and the idea being that those three objects are all exactly the same size. You could have used a large cargo container, but of course it would have made the whole ship much bigger. That gives you a sort of core layout in the middle of it. And then, obviously, you've got your standard thrusters around the side. And then I have attached, we have one camera on the back for when you're actually on the front for when you're welding. Uh, one camera on the bottom for when you're docking like that. And we've tried to keep sort of all of the extra bits you need the ship to function. So lights, remote control units, reactor, gyro, all that sort of stuff. Hidden within that same sort of shape. So that it's as small and tightly packed as it possibly could be, and just to demonstrate how things work. We can go in here, find the remote welder, control, and there we go. That's camera from off the front. And she flies pretty nicely. So I actually set up a little demonstration of why a ship this sort of size would be good. As you can see, you can actually see the welder at the bottom of the screen just about. If I turn the UI on, it's easier to see. Oh, that's the rear camera. There they go. So that's the welder on at the bottom of the screen. And the idea being you'd be able to go down into really quite small areas and just weld away. Got a pretty decent cargo capacity on it. Carry enough stuff to do a pretty decent welding job. And at no point will you need to switch when you need to go down these little pathways, for example. Now I'm just building this lower access area of the base and this will be perfect for being able to come down here and it's capable of fitting through these single block gaps uh, which is how it's stored up above so if I just do the last bit of the business which is to fly her around and up and dock us back down again there we go and she's now locked back into position only thing apparently I need to be how did I manage yeah I need to apparently I need to be a little bit careful when taking off and not do so too fast Apparently we're ever so slightly damaging the uh, plating around when it takes off. Uh, but there's a mini welding ship for you to give a go, see whether or not that works for you. Thanks a lot for watching guys, really quick one today. Let me know if you liked it in the comments down below. Please hit me up with any suggestions for other ideas. Quite happy to cover any topic people might like, so let me know. Also keep an eye out on my channel for a couple of new series I've got coming out. I'm going to be doing a speed building Space Engineers series where I get 10 minutes to build anything that you might suggest, hit it down in the comments and I will have 10 minutes to put together something that in theory should be completely functional and at the same time I'll talk through exactly what it is that I'm doing when I'm building it. And I've also got a couple of side series on stuff like War for the Overworld coming up very shortly as well. So keep an eye on the channel. Thanks a lot for watching guys, hit that like button if it helped and I will catch you soon.